Many people start their day with different things on their mind, like what to wear, check their social media, work, and how much money they can make. Not putting God first and suddenly, in a moment, they will die, and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away, and the mighty will be taken away without a hand. This is why you need the Midnight Prayer. Very good morning to you. It's now zero hours and three minutes and we are here once again to pray for you, to determine the blessings of God upon your life. I'm here with Pastor Roger, with Pastor Isaiah, with Pastor John. The four of us, we are going to raise a cry out on your behalf that God may answer you. Speaking of God answering you, the Word of God says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Pastor John, many of those who are bound, many of those who are captive, many of those who are heartbroken, many of those who are impoverished nowadays. People, they are in great distress due to the crisis, to the pandemic, losses that people are having from day-to-day -day basis. Many of those who have lost family members, many of those who are right now crying because of various problems that they are experiencing currently. But the Word of God says that the Spirit of God is upon us. He has anointed us to set these people free. And this is the reason why we are here tonight, to set them free. Yes, Pastor, and to those of you who are watching us, we have this authority to prophesy upon your life, to prophesy your freedom, to prophesy your deliverance, to prophesy, you know, your healing, because this is the authority that we have received. No matter what you have lost in your life, we have received this prophesy to, to spread this good word, this good news upon your life. And we are going to be doing that because because authority has been bestowed to us and we are going to make use of it in order to deliver you. Pastor Isaiah, as we are talking about people who are broken hearted, people who are bound, how many people right now, they think there is no way out for them? Today is Wednesday, Wednesday. The, we are half of the week, we are in the middle of the week. Many people right now, they look forward and they think like, what can I do? You know, I have been trying so hard, but I'm not making it. They're bound. They're bound by their thoughts. They're bound by problems. They're bound by circumstances. They're bound. But God has anointed us in order to release them from whatever has been binding them. Exactly, Pastor. And as you were saying that a lot of people nowadays, because of what Satan has put inside of their lives, it makes them to be bound both physically and mentally. But because God gave to us this authority, this person that maybe they are feeling at this moment bound, stuck and frustrated, God has the power to change your life from the way how it is into the way how you want it to be. And God will change your life indeed. The four of us, we are going to say a prayer on your behalf right now. So that whatsoever may be binding you, may bind you no more. Whatsoever might have been causing you to be heartbroken, may no longer make you heartbroken. No matter the problem you are facing, God has power to deliver you. Do you believe it? So I would like to invite you to please stand on your feet, close your eyes, because we are going to minister with the authority that God has given to us blessings answers to all of you. My God and Father, we stretch our hands towards all those who now pray with us. And we ask you in this very moment that you may reach out to this person, bring this person the necessary answer, that which they need. If healing, heal them. If deliverance, deliver them. If prosperity, prosper them. If success, grant them. My God, if restoration, restore their lives. Do to this person what this person, my Father, might have been crying out about for quite a while. 
and so far has not yet received. But now we call upon you, we prophesy the four of us with the authority that we have received from you. We prophesy to this person healing. We prophesy to this person prosperity. We prophesy to this person, my Father, restoration, family blessing, peace, love. We prophesy to this person joy, happiness. We prophesy to this person an abundant life, Jesus. blessed in all aspects for the honor and the glory of your name. My Father, likewise, we direct our hands to the four corners of this nation. And we ask you to rebuke this virus that has taken over the whole world. Also, my Father, Trinidad and Tobago, we ask you to pass in the four corners of Trinidad and Tobago and to destroy all the works of darkness. My Father, stop the killings, the violence. I ask you to bless the authorities of our nation. Enable them with wisdom, guide them, inspire them. Make May their decisions be aligned with your thoughts so that your light may shine upon our country. With a blessing, we bless Trinidad and Tobago. Heal our land, oh God, we so pray in Jesus' name. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. My dear friend, pay attention. God is the same. He hasn't changed. What he did yesterday, he's still able to do today. And tonight at 8 p.m., we are going to have a special service. The gathering of the children of God, the school of faith, when we are going to be seeking the Spirit of God. And I would like you all to prepare a bottle of water. I would like you to have in hands a bottle of water, each one of you. You are to tell your family members, you are to tell your relatives, you are to tell your colleagues, you are to tell your friends, you are to send a WhatsApp message, you are to text your relatives, you are to make a call, you are to make sure that everyone you know may be informed about this meeting tonight. Because we have a revelation to share with you. And you must have a bottle of water with you. Yes, a simple bottle of water. And we are going to guide you about what you are to do in order to experience what God has put into place for you. You must miss not. From the four of us here, this hour, we determine that the light of God may shine upon you. Be blessed together. We are strong. Sunday of the impossible. Impossible for whom? He who walked over the waters. Jesus turned the water into wine. He healed the blind and paralytic. He multiplied the bread and fish. He also raised the dead. Is there anything impossible that he cannot do? It is written, Behold, I am the Lord of all flesh. Is anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 32 27.